Hi, and welcome back to Storytime with Kit. And on today's episode, we're reading Charlie the Bulldog's Fantastic Fruit Stand by Andy Frizzella, illustrated by Kevin Cannon. Let's go! About Otis and Charlie. This is a story about Otis and Charlie, two funny and friendly bulldogs who live on a great big farm with their mom and dad. Their dad is a big man with a beard who loves to drive fast cars. Their mom is a nice lady with blonde hair who likes to cook. Otis likes to laugh and lay around doing nothing. Charlie is sweet, smart, and always stays busy. Sometimes they don't get along, but most of the time, they have great fun together. They are always learning how having big dreams and working hard can make you happy. Hey, Charlie, said Otis, sitting in his favorite spot in front of the television. What are you doing? I'm writing plans for what I need to do today, Charlie said. Charlie was one of the few bulldogs in history who could read and write. Do you believe that? I am going to open a fantastic fruit stand. Open a fruit stand? What does that mean? Otis asked, scratching his head. I am going to sell fruit to the people who come by our farm, Charlie said. First, Mom is going to take me to the store. I will buy apples, bananas, pears, and maybe a big green watermelon. Then Dad is going to help me build a stand so I can sell the fruit. <laughs> Otis giggled. You're crazy. That doesn't sound fun at all. That sounds like a lot of hard work. It is hard work, said Charlie, but hard work can make you really happy. Otis looked back at the television and cocked his head. How could hard work be fun? Watching television was perfect fun for Otis. Right now, I have to get my tail moving, Charlie said. Whatever, said Otis. I'm just going to stay here and sit on my tail. Otis sat on his tail all morning and watched The Dogs of Our Lives on Papalooza TV. Meanwhile, Charlie went to the store. She sat in the cart and picked out big red apples, bright yellow bananas, speckled pears, and even a big green watermelon. At lunchtime, Otis ate his food in front of the television, sitting on his tail. Charlie ate lunch too, but then she went to the barn with her dad. They took some wood and tools and built a stand and a sign that read, Charlie's Fantastic Fruit Stand. It was hard work. In the afternoon, Otis was still watching television and sitting on his tail, of course. Oh, yawn, said Otis. It sure is tiring sitting on my tail. Otis wasn't really tired. He was just bored. Not to mention, Otis's tail had been numb since lunch. Has that ever happened to you? Outside, Charlie set up her fruit stand. It was very, very hot outside. At first, no one came by. But Charlie did not give up. Then finally, one customer. Then two more customers. Then five more customers. Later that evening, Otis finally turned off the television. But he kept sitting on his tail. Boy, oh boy, he said. This day was boring. Nothing exciting happened. Just then, Charlie came in with a new toy. The coolest, neatest, most special toy that Otis had ever seen. Hi, Otis, Charlie said. Wow, Otis said. That's the coolest, neatest, best toy I have ever seen. Did Mom and Dad buy that for you? Did they buy one for me too? Sorry, Otis. This is the only one. I bought it myself. Charlie said. How? Otis said. That toy looks expensive and you're just a bulldog. I earned money at my fruit stand, Charlie said. I worked hard. I sold a lot of fruit. I saved most of my money, but with a little bit of it, I bought this toy. Oh, said Otis. You know, it was fun to buy the toy, but the best part of my day was selling the fruit at my fantastic fruit stand. Working hard to build something special makes me happy. Charlie said. Holy moly, said Otis. I think I would like to work hard too, so I can be happy like you. Otis, you can play with my toy, said Charlie, but you have to promise me something. Yes, Otis said. Anything. Tomorrow, I'm going to sell some more fruit at my fantastic fruit stand, Charlie said. Will you promise to help? Yeah, 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 yeah. I promise, said Otis. That evening, Charlie and Otis played together with Charlie's new toy. Then they sat on their tails for a while, but not to watch television. 
As they sat, they talked and laughed as they planned all the adventures and hard work for the next day. And that's the end of Charlie the Bulldog's Fantastic Fruit Stand. Thanks for watching and listening to Storytime with Kit. Make sure to like and subscribe, and happy reading!